When people don't know what the they're talking about, why do they always have so much to say? I'm thinking of doing this, this, this project around basketball. And um, there's an aspect of basketball that I know more about than something else. Uh, I'm not going to give anyone necessarily a lot of advice on offensive schemes in basketball. That may not be something that I'll talk to you much about because I don't know that much about it. Um, I know a good amount, and I actually know a good amount where I can speak to it, but I don't think I know enough to teach a seminar, and I feel that you should only weigh in and tell people, give people instruction or advise them when you really know that you know that you know what you're talking about and you know what you're going to say is going to help them. But I'm not even talking about stuff that's at that level. Right now, what I'm talking about is the big fat person that um, doesn't work out and eats whatever they want and they want to tell you uh, about diet. I'm not saying that they don't have anything good to say, but, you know, I was leaving my job and there's this woman, there's these women walking together. They're walking really slowly. They're a little bit older. When I say older, it looks, um, we're still of working age. So we're in like 50 to 60. But they both have very labored walks. They're both bigger. Um, looks like they don't lead very healthy lives. Pretty much, I mean, you've seen these people before. They're kind of walking side to side, laboring a little bit. And I noticed that they're talking about pain because I'm closing from behind. As I get closer to these women, the one woman that's a little bit less healthy than the other, she says, Yeah, I went online and I googled apple cider vinegar and joint pain. There were doctors on there saying that if you drank a little apple cider vinegar, it'll help with the swelling in your knees. What the hell? I'm listening to this woman. She's extremely not fit. She leads a very unhealthy life, I can tell, just nutrition-wise. I don't know if she's a smoker, a drinker, anything like that. All I'm saying is I can tell from what she, how she looks and how she's walking, she leads a very unhealthy life, and she has been for very many years. I'm thinking to myself, like, you're unhealthy. You sit down at your desk all day. You probably leave here. You probably go home, and you sit down there all day. You probably haven't worked out much at all during the course of your life. You probably don't run. You probably haven't run. You probably, there's a lot of things. She's just your typical unhealthy American person that's in their 50s to 60, it's 50, 50 to 60. But yet she's giving advice and she's telling this person, drink apple cider vinegar so your knee swelling goes down. And I'm just like, you don't know what the f you're talking about. What are you talking about? Why are you talking? I find in the human condition that it seems like people just want to be of value. And it seems as if we want to be of value intellectually to others. I think it's a valiant cause and I think it's good. And I think it's good when we can be of intellectual value to other humans and other humans can be of intellectual value to us. But I don't think we put ourselves through that sifter that sifter that says, I don't know what the f I'm talking about, about health, fitness, diet. So you know what? I'm not going to give any advice on that. That would be a good thing. Put yourself through the sifter. Figure out what you know versus what you don't know. And if you don't know anything about that, please shut your mouth. Evaluate what you do know. And for a lot of us, I'll be honest, you don't know much. It takes a lot to get to a place where you know much. Where you know a lot. About a lot. I mean, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of YouTube videos. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of, my goodness. Sometimes it just takes a lot to figure out something, anything, enough to where you can advise someone else because their situation won't necessarily be exactly like yours. So you'll have to account for the differences in your situations. Um, 
And if you want to give fitness advice, different rules apply to men than they do women. Different rules apply to different men with different fitness goals than other men. So sometimes attempting to give advice without being thoroughly studied enough on that topic you're considering giving advice on, you could actually lead that person astray. You could really f them up because you don't know what the f you're talking about. So I urge you, know what the f you're talking about before you open your mouth. Put yourself through the sifter. If you don't know much about a lot, you should be more of a sponge in life than the advice giver.